me being uncomfortable, uncomfortable wherever I am. I am, I am, I am, I am. You ain't never gotta worry about me. You ain't never gotta worry about me. You ain't never gotta, you ain't never gotta worry about me being uncomfortable, uncomfortable with who I am. Stop. The, the bus stop. Oh yeah, I have my, I have my fair share of stories. On a dark autumn night, a lady who had just finished conducting a training session at a factory in the countryside stood alone at a bus stop, Jesus. patiently waiting for the bus to arrive. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm going to point out some red flags. Obviously, no Adidas. Right. You're the only one at this bus stop. Dark as hell. Looks like the only light source is coming from the moon. Right. And there's there's a whole forest or woods that probably goes on for miles behind you. And because you're taking a bus, it could come a little late. It could. Buses do do that. There, 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 there's a whole lot going on right now. That's a whole lot. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it playing. And take her back into the city. Ten minutes had passed. The bus should have arrived by now. She thought to herself. See, see, see. And yet, there she still was, waiting. Really? Then, out of the corner of her eye, she saw something. The man was slowly approaching towards the bus stop. Jesus. And hurt. Please don't be a weirdo, she thought to herself. Where the hell is this bus? Where the hell he come from? Sure enough, when the person entered the light of the bus stop, she was filled with a feeling of dread. Damn! Back up, my bro. <laughs> back up, my bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, back up. Back up. I need at least... If I can do this with my arms and I can touch you, you're way too close. Okay? I need at least. Especially if I don't know you. I need at least five, six foot radius. I, I do because that's just that. You see how close he is to her? That's ridiculous. Come on, bruh. And then any man that has like a five o'clock shadow and no hair on top, but hair on the sides, you're sus. You're definitely sus. But yeah, come on, bruh. Back up. Really back up because obviously she don't know you. You don't know her. And yeah, just back up about five, six feet. If you don't, I'm going to have to cluck you on your balls. What? Why did I say that? I'm gonna have to cluck your balls up? No, sus. I'm gonna have to hit you in the balls. There we go. Which homeless and reeked of a foul odor. Damn. Three dollars, he said. Okay. Excuse me, she replied. Three dollars, he repeated. No, I'm sorry, I, I don't have three dollars, she replied. And then, he just stood there, silently staring at her. What you looking at, bruh? She became quite afraid at this point. I was about to ask him to move away, when he spoke again. Three dollars. She had had enough. This guy was genuinely giving her the creeps. Right. And she felt scared and vulnerable. Look, I don't have three dollars, she snapped at him. Now leave me alone, or I'll call the police. Police not gonna do that. And he looked around. And then, just left. What? He walked past her and headed on his way down the road. The hell? Into the night. Oh, no. He had moved on, but this certainly didn't make her feel any better. Right. She replayed in her head what had just transpired, and then quickly began to think of what she should do next. She was all alone in an unfamiliar area, waiting for a bus that looked like it would never come. 
Now she felt extremely frightened. What if he came back? What would she do then? As she decided to get her phone and call a taxi, the bus arrived. Oh, thank goodness, she thought. Sus. And as soon as the door opened, she jumped aboard and took a seat. Her heart was racing, but she was safe. The door closed, and she asked the driver, How much? Don't. The driver replied, Don't say it. Three dollars. You got me all the way, Clark. Uh, you got me all the way, Clark. Uh, uh. He knocked her unconscious, switched out the lights, and then drove away. Wait a minute. 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 Wait. Okay. First, no. I want to say club to female too because you noticed the guy first when he came up to you was like three dollars, right? When he came up to you and he was mad close to you, you knew exactly what he looked like from head to toe. And you knew his voice, three dollars. You, I sound just like that, bro. <laughs> you, know, you know his voice. You know what he looks like from head to toe, right? And you were genuinely scared. Like he was about to haul ass, which I don't know why you did. So there's that. Then, 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 you get on the bus. And you say what? How much? And the bus driver says three dollars. See, this is where this is where I'm pissed. You knew what the guy looked like when he was at the bus stop waiting. He was looking at you dead in your eyes, talking about some three dollars, right? But then why was it when you got on the bus before you got on the bus? Because I know how buses work. I know how public buses work. Because I've had my fair share of uh, riding public buses. Right? They open the door. Like when, when the bus driver gets to the, uh, to the bus stop. They open the door. And you can see the bus driver. As far as like my buses go. Right? You can see the bus driver. That stuff like the first person you see. Shouldn't that have risen or or shot up some red flags when as soon as the bus door opened, you saw this mother clucker? That doesn't make any sense. You would have saw this sus mother clucker right when the doors opened. I don't understand. Unless... Pinky out, always keep it classy, you feel me? You were in cahoots, I'm done with this. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Stay happy, my fam. That's my... <laughs> I didn't tell you he was recording. He didn't even tell me he was recording. Like, it's that's some stuff. He didn't tell me he was recording. Pretty, pretty.